I'm Rob. And I'm Matt. And this is our Fancy Skiing VR Review for Barefoot Gaming. Fancy Skiing VR is a game that does its best to emulate actual skiing. No, perhaps to be more clear, it does its best to emulate a ski trip down a perilous path with jumps and dynamic obstacles that will move your stomach into your mouth. You'll hold your virtual ski poles and drive them into the ground faster and faster to gain speed. You'll use your triggers to jump fences and boulders, as well as to get tremendous height from launching off of ski jumps. Steering is done primarily by tilting your head from one side to the other, and your neck will get a workout dodging deer and rolling boulders. There are open slopes, there are ice caves, and you'll even encounter a snowman from time to time. It will give you a feeling of speed, and there is a feeling of height, but most importantly, is it fancy? I think it's time to find out if this ski trip is worth the price of admission. Fancy skiing VR. I was blown away by how much it actually makes you feel like you're moving. It was pretty fun actually. The dippiness, the moving back and forth, I was not expecting that. It kind of was similar to Ultimate Booster experience where you're moving and moving and moving. Like on the jumps, for instance, there's no reason that I had to stand up and pretend like I was going off of some kind it's of true. And jump, but I did every single time. And yeah. you bent your knees over and over, even yeah. when we told you not to bend your knees, you bent your <laughs> knees because he was totally out of camera shot. Didn't matter, he still was skiing for real. I kept trying to go faster and faster and faster, even though the game got harder and harder. Because <laughs> those jumps feel incredible. Yeah, the jumps really make you feel like flying. You actually leaned on your jumps. It looked awesome. And if you can see in the beginning video, got a bit of a, a bit of a lean on yeah. every one of his jumps. Definitely felt immersive. For me, the graphics still felt cartoony. Like it doesn't feel photorealistic, but I don't mind. And my brain does a disconnect and it's okay. It's like, this isn't real, but you are there. Like, I, I still think photorealism isn't the goal. Almost all the games that I've really, really enjoyed throw photorealism right out the window and they just go for fun. And I found this to be fun. I didn't care if it's rocks rolling down the mountain trying to take you out. If you're going through an ice cave, everything felt fast and it felt fun. Totally agree. Yeah. The game is 10.99. There is only the one run. There's one hill, that's it. But taking that hill and practicing your jumps, and it's a blast. And I, I'd equate it to maybe like a, a Wii game where you just pop into something to play for a little while. And it's something that I'd recommend for other people. Right? You've got a friend coming over and you'd be like, this is another one that you kind of have to try. Yeah. Because it's yeah. going to make you almost fall over. When you can trick your brain to the point of almost falling over, that's great. So how many broken ski poles out of 10 would you give this game? For what it is? Well, I mean, talking about the price, right? When yeah. I consider 10.99 continuous play probably would get tiring after maybe 20 minutes. If the price were lower, I'd probably give it about a seven, but competing with that, maybe only about a five. I'd aim for a six and a half myself. I think that the rush of the feeling of movement makes it worth that little bit of extra cash. I see your point and I can get where you're coming from. If you're looking at the price of doing anything, if you're looking at the price of going to a movie, I, I relate that one often. It's gonna cost you 12 bucks to go to see a movie. You're getting a pretty neat experience here and you're able to share that with your friends. I think that's kind of cool. So that's our review for Fancy Skiing VR, right? And it is fancy. If you liked our videos, please let us know. Make a comment way down there. If there's something you want to see different, let us know. Otherwise, we hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much and have a good one. See ya. Bye.